In this exercise, we're going to talk about co-authoring collaboration. Co-authoring collaboration is the simple task of working on a same document with other people or another person. 20 years ago, we used to create a document, email that document to someone else for them to make changes or make suggestions and then email it back to us and then for us to look that over and make a changes or make adjustments and email it back. And there's a lot of emailing back and forth. Well, now co-authoring collaboration happens in real time. Here we are in our OneDrive and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new document. I'm going to come up to the Add New and then I'm going to create a Word document here. You'll notice it opens a new browser tab with a blank Word document. Now in this document I'm going to add the word header and I'll press enter twice and I'm going to put in body enter twice and then I'm put it in closing and then I'll press enter. Pretty simple. Now this is for demonstration purposes only. So now that I've created this document I want to co-author with one of my colleagues. So I'm going to come up and click on share and then click share. That opens up my share window. I'm going to put in my colleague's name. Now after identifying the colleague I, or person I want to share this with, I want to make sure I come over here and change this from can view to can edit. That will allow that person to make changes. I'm going to add a message down here just like that and then I'm going to invite this person. There it is. I'll close this down. It gives this name because they're because we haven't given this file a name yet. You'll notice it appears up here. I'm going to close this down and then I'm going to wait for that person to log into the document. There we go. Now we can see that Eric is logged in. His insertion point is here at the beginning of the document. I can hover over it. It tells me who's there. This is nice so that in the event we have three, four, a dozen people on a document, I can hover over to see exactly who's in this location. I can also see that up here, Eric has this document open. It tells us right there. If I want to go to their location, meaning where their insertion point is, that's what I would click. It would go right there if there's multiple pages. So let's see what Eric's going to put in here. Pretty simple. I can see that he added a header and now he's getting ready to add some body text. We just got to watch Eric add text live in our document in real time. We also see that there's been a comment made. Eric applied a comment. Shall we format the title? I'm going to reply to that. Just going to mention that. Let's see what he has to say or what he does. Look at that. He made some formatting changes. He asked, how do we like that? I'm going to do a thumbs up. I like it. Just say, looks great, thanks. And now when we're finished that, I'm going to come up and resolve this thread. And now it's been resolved. But I have a record of that comment right here. I can come to the chain here. Pretty simple. Well, that's all there is to it. This is a small example of what co-authoring collaboration really looks like here in Microsoft 365. It's pretty great. If you're not familiar with it, I encourage you to get more familiar with it. It's a valuable skill set to know when you're working in the business environment. Thanks for joining me. Hope this was helpful, and we'll see you in the next exercise.